I've played around with some of the layers here so you can see I can walk in front of this bed and I can walk behind it quite seamlessly and the way I've done that I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. And before we get into the video, I just want to say if you haven't already checked it out, go check out my game jam for next month. The link is in the description. It's the Xander Jam 3, the Spring Jam, the theme will be announced a day or two before the game jam starts. If you take part and submit a game, I will play it on my channel and I'll do a best of the jam video which you'll be able to watch after the jam has ended. Hey guys, welcome back. Not a lot's happened this week. I've been very much preoccupied with the Wowie 3.0 game jam. You can check out my entry in the description below. So with that said, I haven't had too much time to work on Orion's Throne. Mostly what I've been working on this week in regards to the game is just the visual look of things. I've changed the fourth layout of level two to open up this corridor to give the player two different options in which to go. There's a signpost here that you can interact with which will effectively tell you that going back the way you came will take you back towards the hangar door, going down will take you to a utility room, and going left will take you into the barracks. In the barracks is where the next interesting little bit of gameplay happens. So when we get into the barracks I've added a coffee machine and a comfy chair, and then I've designed these bunk beds. All I've done is just reuse some of the assets from the previous levels and put them around the place just to give it a little bit of a nicer feel. I brought these boxes in, which obviously drop the ammo. This is quite easy because obviously I've, I've programmed them all in and I can just drag and drop to make them work in any level I want to. There's another chest and then a huge empty space which is going to be filled with bunk beds and the idea here I think is going to be some kind of a mini game or not really a mini game but just kind of um, something to interact with so effectively what will happen is there'll be some guards asleep in some of the beds and if you wake them up they're going to chase you down and attack you so there'll be something that you need to do in order to sneak past them. I've played around with some of the layers here so you can see I can walk in front of this bed and I can walk behind it quite seamlessly and the way I've done that is by having these multiple layers on the bottom right hand side here. So I've got the game layer which is where the player is, that, that player is on the game layer. Then I've got layer zero which is the tile map and then I've got collisions which is the walls. So all I've done with this bed here is I've broken it into two and then the top half I've put on the collisions layer which is above the player and then the bottom half I've put on the tile map layer so when we're in front of the bunk bed we can see the player on top of the uh, bed and when we are behind it we can see the player walk behind which actually looks quite nice um, I didn't do that for these I just put a row of lockers in front and then I just changed the bunk bed to the top a uh, bit of the sprite so if I double click into it I've got three different frames one that's the whole thing one that's just the bottom and one that's just the top and then I can play around and put them wherever I want on whatever layer I want and then the player can walk seamlessly in front and behind these whenever they want to if we go back to the first uh, section of level two now I've changed the hangar doors here they've got a, an orange look now so like the um, the boss doors um, these are going to be the doors that you walk through uh, when you get to the end boss these are the same color just for consistency but I put 42 on them because it's hangar bay 42 let me know what you think um, I think it's okay I might be able to do a little bit of a better job with the text there but we'll see but they work quite well they work fine and then obviously you can progress through the kind of mini maps or the mini stages to get to the barracks level but it, that's going to be the, f the theme of the, the second level anyway. Once I've finished decorating out the barracks here um, the next thing I need to do is build an armory which again will be another one screen layout which will just be uh, where the weapons are stored. There may be some options to upgrade your um, your weapons but what I want to start doing is if you look at level four here of the second stage there's two options to exit. Um, I want to add in maybe another option up here so you have to kind of have a little bit of a look around because like I said in an earlier devlog the objective of this game is to collect a few items that will help you build something that will unlock the path forward um, and also I need to have a layout that shows you that um, this door here because if you look at the map 
once we get, we're in, we're in four here, we're in stage four barracks armory, so the next door will take us into hydrophonics, which is stage five or, or level five of the map, and this is where things start to really heat up. So we're coming along quite nicely. Um, I'm quite happy with the progress. Because um, a lot of the artwork's already done, um, it means I can work a little bit quicker. I've just got to kind of script in the, the new mechanics as and when they appear. Once the armory is done and I'm happy with the layout, I'm, I'm, I'm then going to start adding in the enemies. I'm not going to touch on the enemies until the entire um, second level here is completely finished in terms of the level design because I want to have a good look at it and see naturally where the enemies would be. I know there's going to be enemies in the barracks. I know there's going to be some enemies kind of patrolling around here. They won't be too hard because obviously it's only the second level, but it'll give you something to shoot at. Um, I still need to make the mini game which again I've touched on I'm probably going to do a tutorial series for but I still I am very much aware I still need to finish the moon racer tutorial series as well so there's quite a lot going on at the moment I do have quite a lot of projects like I said the wowie game jam just kind of interjected for a few days and kind of set me back on this project but it was a nice little welcome break to be fair so if you want to check out that game there's a link in the description i will be back next friday with another update um hopefully by next friday i'll have a lot more done i should I, i'm going to aim to completely finish the level design for this stage so i'll have the armory done i'll have the barracks completely kitted out um so i'll know exactly where we need to go i'll have the utility room done and then I'll have the final um, area with these doors in place and then I'll have all the trigger points done. So in terms of functionality, the whole of the second level should be done by next Friday um, with, it, with the exception of enemies and the following week I'll be working on putting those enemies in and then hopefully by the following week it should be completely completable. So you should be able to run through the whole of level one, complete level one, get onto this level and then get through and complete this level that's my goal for the next three weeks but we'll see how that materializes obviously it's easier said than done sometimes thanks as always to my patreon james welch for supporting my game dev journey i have added another tier into my patreon page so if you want to head over there and check and see what that's all about there is a link in the description there is a link in the description to everything i've mentioned in this video so if you're interested to see more about what i do if you want to follow me on social media channels get down into the description have a look click on the links and come say hello as always, thanks for sticking around if you made it this far, and I'll see you in the next video.